graphing sine and cosine functions. To graph sine and cosine function, I will be using a Cartesian plane that has angles for the values of x, which I will write in this table. So I will be plotting f of x is equal to sine x, the graph for sine, and the other graph I will be plotting is for f of x is equal to cos x. So let's just write the equation down for sine. So I can write f of x is equal to sine x. That's my equation. The first column I can label as x. The second column I can label as f of x. So I can start by writing the values of x. So I can say x is, we can take 0 degrees. Then I can write here 90 degrees. Then I can write 180 degrees, 270 degrees, and the last one is 360 degrees. And you can always add more rows if you want to write more values of x. 30 degrees, 60 degrees, 120 degrees, 150 degrees, 210 degrees, 240 degrees, 300 degrees, 330 degrees, and so on. So first I will substitute the value of x. I can show you on the side. I have this equation. So instead of x, I will write 0. So that becomes sine 0. You can use a calculator to find out what is sine 0. So when I substitute 0 into x, and I will calculate sine 0, which it will give me 0 here. Therefore, f of 0 is equal to 0. I can write this here. Similarly, I will solve for f of 90 degrees. So where I see x, I will substitute 90. By using a scientific calculator, I can calculate that sine 90 degrees is 1. So I can write that down here. Similarly, I will calculate sine 180 degrees, which is giving me 0 on the calculator. Then I will calculate sine 270 degrees, which is giving me negative 1. Then I will calculate sine 360 degrees, which is equal to 0. Now I will plot these points on the grid. So when x is 0, f of x is 0. So first thing is I will label x-axis, so I can say x, and I can write in degrees, and f of x is the vertical line, which is here, or you can write sine x on the top because it's a graph of sine x. So when x is 0, f of x is 0, so I can start from the middle. This is my first point. When x is 90 degrees, and f of x is 1, so which is, this is the second point. Now, when x is 180 degrees, then f of x is 0. So I can plot it here. When x is 270 degrees, f of x is equal to negative 1, which is here. When x is 360 degrees, then the value of y or f of x is equal to 0, so which is here. So now I will connect these points. Let's just connect. Since we know that it's a sine function, it's a periodic function, so what I can do to the left side, in order to complete the graph to the left side, I can do the same thing. If you have to extend this table, you can do when sine at x, which is minus 90 degrees, when you will substitute that, sine of negative 90 will give you negative 1. So that is here. When you substitute x equals to negative 180, then the value will be 0. So I can just plot it here. When you substitute instead of x, negative 270 degrees, the value will give you 
1, which is the f of x value. So I can plot it here. And when you plug x equals to negative 360 degrees, sine negative 360 degrees will give you 0. So I can plot it here. Again, I can connect. So I can connect this one. and so on. Same thing to the right side. So that's how you plot sine x by using a table of value. Similarly, I will show you how to plot or graph cosine function. So first thing is I will write f of x is equal to cos x. Then I will label the columns in my new table. So the first column is x. The second column is f of x. I will do the same thing. 0 degrees, 90 degrees, 180 degrees, 270 degrees. 360 degrees. So I will show you on the side when I substitute x is equal to 0. So cos 0 will give you 1. Therefore f of 0 is equal to 1. I will write it down here. When I substitute x is equal to 90, cos 90 will give me 0. Cos 180 will give me negative 1. Cos 270 degrees will give me 0. And cos 360 will give me 1. You can use your scientific calculator. Then I will plot these points onto this grid. First thing is I will label it. So I will label the x-axis as x, which is in degrees the y-axis which is f of x and you can write the title of the graph as cosine x or f of x is equal to cosine x. When x is 0, the value of f of x is 1. So we can uh, start with that which is here. x is 90 degrees, f of x is 0 which is here. When x is 180 degrees, f of x is negative 1. When x is 270 degrees, f of x is 0. When x is 360 degrees, the value of f of x is 1. I will connect. Similarly, by using a calculator, I will make a smooth curve here. By using a calculator, you can find the values for the left side of the graph. When I substitute x is equal to negative 90, I get 0. So I will plot this here. When I substitute x is equal to negative 180, I get negative 1, which I can plot here. When I substitute x equals to negative 270 degrees, I get f of x is equal to 0. When I substitute x is equal to negative 360 degrees, I get 1, which is here. Then I can connect. Since it's a periodic function, that's how the graph will look like. In the next video, I will be showing you the properties of sine and cosine function and the transformation of the sine and cosine functions. Don't forget to subscribe my YouTube channel and like this video. Thank you.